October 4th, we commemorate the lives of Indigenous women, girls, and two-spirit people who have been lost, missing, or murdered. We honour their lives and we lament the loss of their loved ones. We offer support to their families. We offer prayers and words of comfort for their spirits. Well, the history of Sisters in Spirit and the Sisters in Spirit Vigil Walk was actually started in uh, 17 years ago by the Native Women's Association of Canada. Since then, it has uh, flourished to an uh, international campaign and initiative primarily to raise awareness about the issue of missing and murdered Indigenous women in Canada. Uh, it, the, this issue of missing and murdered Indigenous women to spirit is an epidemic in Canada. I think we all need to uh, act in some way to, to uh, ultimately reduce those numbers or to end violence against Indigenous women and all peoples uh, in the future. You know, if you look at, at the, the era of residential schools, in some ways that hasn't ended. It's been morphed into eventually the 60s scoop, and now we talk about the millennium scoop. There are more Indigenous children in care today than there were at the height of residential schools. So it's still a, an incredible um, uh, scenario or condition right now where our children are still being raised in homes that doesn't connect them to our culture, to their family, and the, we have to change that system. We need to completely, I think, uh, destruct um, and reconstruct in some way that is based within our own communities, where children have access to, to kinship, to, to, to the language and the ceremonies. I would uh, recommend reading The Calls to Justice which is the final report from the National Inquiry on Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women to Spirit. If you can, read the document. We ask you to use your privilege as a non-Indigenous person, as a white person, to talk to the governments, your MLAs, your municipal leaders, and the federal government to take the calls to action and to implement them. This is about the future of our children. This is for our grandmothers. This is for our sisters, our aunts, and anyone who is at risk. We need to save lives, and we need to do this together as a caring and loving community. Attached to this phenomenon, if you want to call it that, of missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls and two-spirit is sexual violence. Most often when a woman is missing or murdered, sexual violence was part of that. And Indigenous women, girls and two-spirit are five to eight times more likely to experience that kind of violence compared to non-Indigenous people. And it varies from one province to another and uh, young Indigenous girls from the age of 14 to 30 are really at, more at risk. Part of that is uh, young girls leaving their rural areas or their reserves coming to the big city, not having connections uh, and, and just not having a place to stay and then facing discrimination if they are trying to find a job, uh, business owners aren't hiring them, they're trying to find housing, landlords aren't providing um, space for, for them or their family members. And so when you continually face these obstacles and challenges um, embedded within this very racist environment, um, they become targets for those who uh, will uh, simply out of, uh, out of hate, out of uh, to engage them in uh, sex trafficking and so forth. So, um, so these are the stories. If we can re-establish those traditional teachings around respect of one another our, within our kinship systems, my hope is that we can begin that healing journey or continue. I think we've, we've already been on a healing journey, but we need to continue and part of that process is reclaiming uh, who we are, our identities, in our traditions, our songs, our languages. Oki, Nagana Go Mekoche is Chase Komaki. 
My name is Red Thunderwood. My uh, English name is Michelle. I use she and her pronouns, and I'm honored to be here on Treaty 7 territory. Uh, I am lucky enough to be a co-chair to the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women, Girls, and Two-Spirit group here, this committee here in Calgary. I am um, honored to walk this road with so many folks that have had unfortunately had to deal with this issue. I encourage folks to come and support the families. They need to see that other folks support what they're going through and that they want justice as well. We have elections coming up municipally. Yeah, I encourage you to talk to any candidate that's talking about wanting to represent you and ask them, what do they know about Indigenous people? What do they know about uh, Orange Shirt Day? What do they know about missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, and two-spirit? And see where they're on. Because if we're going to work together and, and be a community and work on reconciliation, we have to work together. Thank you.